Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to use a reusable K-cup with this single-serve coffee maker from Amazon, Julux. I just did a detailed review on it. It's a neat little coffee maker. It does K-cups really well, and I'm going to show you that it does reusable K-cups too. So I've got the four best-selling uh, reusable K-cups from Amazon. This is the Perfect Pod. This is the iParts Plus. This is the Maxware. These are all about the same. Now I like these reusable K-Cups. They're the exact same size as a normal K-Cup. So you're gonna put it in the machine like you would a normal K-Cup, except it's not gonna puncture, like a normal K-Cup, the needle punctures the bottom. On these, there's a little recessed area for the needle to go into. It's not gonna puncture that steel filter material. So then there's a place on the top for the top needle to go inside here this will hold two tablespoons of coffee grounds and it's got kind of like a wire mesh now I'm going to show you one with you don't have to use a paper filter but if you want to prevent sediment you have to use a, a paper filter so perfect pod and some others sell these uh, reusable or not reusable but um, paper filters that are made just for reusable k-cups they go in there like that so the first one I'm going to do is without a reusable cake without a paper filter when picking out your coffee grounds, just make sure it says it's for a drip coffee maker. They should be ground at a medium grind. A lot of them don't say what grind they're at, but they're just like normal coffee maker grinds. Here we've got, that's what medium grounds look like. So I do like this little scoop. Several companies make it. This is made by Perfect Pot. It's called Easy Scoop. It's got exactly a two tablespoon scoop. You go get your coffee grounds. Then you flip this lid on, and then it makes pouring it into the reusable K-cup very easy. So the important thing here is make sure you don't get any coffee grounds under the lid. So we're gonna put the lid down, make sure it's nice and flush all the way around. We, we have to make sure it's nice and flush or it won't fit in the machine. So now it's ready to go in just like a normal K-cup. So here we have the machine. We're gonna open it up. This is where we would put a normal K-cup in. But we're just going to take our reusable filter. It's the same size. We're going to push it in. Now, there's one little step. Make sure you kind of push it down. It, it needs to fit in there kind of flush. So that when you go to close this, it closes a little easier. I've got a detailed review on how to use this coffee maker. I'm going to put in 8 ounces of water. So whatever water you put in back here is what it's going to brew. You can put anywhere from 5 to 12 ounces. To me, 8 ounces is just the right amount for 2 tablespoons of coffee. I've got my water in. Now, it doesn't close. It, you have to force it just a little bit. When you do a normal K-cup, it's not... Make sure you snap it. When you do a normal K-cup, it's a little easier. These reusable K-cups are just a little bit bigger. Not much, but just enough to where this machine doesn't quite want to close, but it does work. So just kind of push down. Turn this, make sure it's all the way to the lock position. Then you simply just press the brew button and we're gonna watch it brew. Okay, so it starts brewing in about two and a half minutes. It does a good job brewing. I'm not getting any leaks around the machine. It's only coming out the nozzle. And it produces a really hot cup of coffee, about 170. And the coffee, I've tasted this out of here, so it, it tastes really good with the reusable K-cup. Um, and it also tastes good when you use a um, K-cup. But what you're going to notice is you do get a little bit of sediment. Now, I don't know if sediment's good or bad for you, but in the past, people have said the, the sediment actually adds a little bit of flavor to it. I tend to agree with that, but it does... At the bottom of your coffee cup, you will notice the sediment. That's why I point this out. So let's see how the machine did. Be careful, this could be hot. It did really good. We don't have any coffee grounds here. The cake up, you just got to lift up. So it did a really good job with it. Let's open it up. Let's go over cleanup. So you lift it up. You do... You gotta you gotta you can recycle these coffee grounds or take them over to your trash can and, and pound it out. 
but you do have to have do have some cleanup work when you use these reusable K cups. The main thing is I did not get any coffee grounds in my coffee. So the coffee tastes really good, but I, I didn't get any coffee grounds. These things do a really good job. They don't let coffee grounds into your drink. So here, I just want to show you a normal K-cup. So a normal K-cup has a, a coffee filter in it. I cut the bottom off of one, like here. See, that it gets pierced with the needle, and the top gets pierced, and that's where the hot water goes in. So two tablespoons of coffee are kept in a paper filter. So that's why in a standard K-cup, you don't see very much sediment in your coffee. But when you use these reusable filters, they don't have paper. But the next one I'm going to show you, we're going to brew it with a filter. So here we have the Maxware. Again, these come preformed, but I'm you have to push it down in there. And you do want to make sure you get it down in there quite a ways because you got to make room for a, a lot for two tablespoons of coffee. It's okay if it sticks above the lip a little bit when we close it. Let's get our coffee grounds. I like to use just a little bit less than two tablespoons because that paper filter takes up some space. Just makes things, go, makes things go a little easier. So now we just pour it right in the middle. Again, don't compact this, let it stay loose. The main thing is no coffee grounds on the lip. We're simply gonna close this. Okay, make sure it's nice and tight. It's okay if we've got some filter material underneath there but we don't want any coffee grounds. And again, no coffee grounds on the outside, so we're good to go. Let's put it in here again. Just so This one sits a little better. The other one I had to kind of push down a little bit. So now it's sitting in there nice and flush. We're just gonna take this. You gotta kind of and then make sure it snaps as you're pushing down this. Whoops, I forgot to add my water. These machines are a little tricky that way. Okay, so let's add again eight ounces again kind of push down make sure that snaps then I'm just gonna come over here and hit the brew button and in less than three minutes I'll have another cup of coffee with my own coffee grounds again make sure that grind is right if the coffee grounds are too fine you won't get any water to come out it kind of blocks up the filter if they're too coarse, you won't get much flavor extracted from them. So make sure it's a medium grind. Okay, so it's starting to brew with that filter in there. Now to me, I can already tell that I don't have sediment in it. I'm starting to, to see it. You can actually see the sediment in the coffee a little bit when you first brew it. This looks like just a standard cup of coffee where this actually has sediment in it. Again, this tastes really good. I've done taste tests. Um, it tastes every bit as good as a K-cup. So some of the advantages of using a reusable K-cup. So these typically are 50 to 75 cents a piece. And you, two tablespoons of coffee is anywhere from 15 to 20, 25 cents a piece. So it's about half the cost of doing a cake up. But cleanup is a little bit more work. So there we have the, there we have the cake up. So the paper filter does make cleanup a little easier, but you still have to wash the, the top of the lid in that. But you can see it did a good job. And then your coffee grounds... You know, that's easier to clean, and you can see it did a good job brewing. Okay, so this was the first one we brewed. I, was, I just want to show you. So there's that sediment I was telling you about. Again, I think it does add a little flavor, but you can see you do get quite a bit of it. Here is the one that has the paper filter. Again, we don't get any sediment in there. So you may just be wondering, well, what is that stuff in the bottom of my... It's not coffee grounds. It's just really, 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 really fine coffee grounds that get through the screen material. I'll put a link in my description of which uh, pods I use. You can get these at Walmart and off of Amazon. If you do click on those links, 
I also have a link for the machine. I do, I am an Amazon affiliate, so I do get a little bit of money when you click on those links. Um, that way it'll help me when I buy the products that I'm gonna review off of Amazon. I appreciate everybody's support. Reusable K-Cups are a really nice way to go. They're just a little bit more work, but you can buy these in packs of like four and stuff, so it makes it a little easier, you know, brew three or four and then do a cleanup with them. This machine does a really good job with the reusable K-Cups. Thanks everybody for watching, and if you could, please like and subscribe.